Whoa! Hey, welcome back. Thanks for hanging out with me. As always, adventure is necessary. We want to help you outfit and explore. Miguel and I, my son, we just got back from an epic trip to the Grand Canyon. You guys can watch that video. And we had some ideas. Now, we recently finished a drawer system with the help of our good friend and Overland Bound member, Parnell. And at the time, he had some ideas for a kitchen that would deploy in just about 20 seconds. Wouldn't that be awesome? You pull up to camp, you're off grid, and instead of messing with all this equipment and pulling it out of boxes or drawers or what have you, your kitchen just deploys in 20 seconds. So that is the target. What we're gonna do today, we're kicking off that project. Parnell gave me a call. He said he's got some preliminary designs to take a look at. And then the most important thing, we're gonna see what Corey thinks about it. All right, let's go. Parnell, what is going on, man? Good hey, to see you. Good to see you. Good to have yeah, you back in the shop. Absolutely. Okay, so you have something to show. We tease this idea. Yeah, yeah. When we were wrapping up the door system. Well, what so we... I've been working on the yeah. kitchen. This is just sort of a mock up of okay. sort of my idea for the kitchen that will take the place of your jerry cans and your um, water jug. Your water jug will stay there. That's basically this. Um, this thing just rotates out. Awesome. Holy cow. And then this is your whole kitchen. And there'll be drawer there, hopefully. I mean, that, that is, that's, that's totally fine. So we need to pick a stove. Okay. Or we need to design and build a custom stove. <laughs> uh, we need to, and we Cause need, we can. <laughs> and we need to pick a sink. Uh, okay. Dometic makes cool. like 200 sinks. So yeah. I'm sure you can find one yeah. that you like that have the little tip out faucets. And I don't think that's something that's really worth designing one ourselves. Yeah. Um, I struggled trying to find a, a, a cooktop that works. Uh, Dometic has a beautiful looking one, but every review I've read is bad and it says it won't work over 4,500 feet. So that's some research for you guys to do. So I know you have yeah. some con connections at Dometic. And we are uh, primarily over 4,500 feet. Yeah. I yeah. mean, that's where we it, roll. It's, it yeah. shocks me yeah. that yeah. I, yeah. I almost can't believe it's true, but I yeah. haven't found any reviews that disagree with that <laughs> and you'd think if, okay. if it was maybe it's made for boats i don't know now in the meantime we've done a ton of research and we did end up with two dometic products because of their wide range of designs we found the perfect two burner stove that would work at the altitude we'll be traveling at and a dometic sink both were compact units that will work perfect for the design it's just a good footnote make sure the equipment that you're going to use will work for its intended purpose if like, let's go look at the mock-up I've made out of cardboard. Wait, hold on. What? I made a mock-up out of cardboard so you can look at it. Because it's, awesome. it's, it's hard to see things like this in 3D, <laughs> I think. So look. I'm a big prototype believer. Uh, I mean, it's one of the things I do for a living. But uh, you just you can't, just looking at it like that, you can't really get the idea of what size it is and how it's yeah. going to really function. But you put a little couple pieces of cardboard and you yeah. can really see it. Let's take a look. You want to see? Yeah. Let's go. Cool. Oh my god. <laughs> that is badass. That is awesome. That's it. It would bolt on to where uh, water bottle and gas can carrier is right now. This is basically the pocket for the water bottle. Um, this thing was figuring out a way to keep it closed where you could get to the water bottle and not have to open the kitchen. Got it. So this is where the water bottle sits. Right. This is the storage drawer. This is the storage drawer. Right. And this storage drawer will open up on the inside of the kitchen okay. and have shell, I shouldn't say drawer, a little storage area, but this will be a drawer. Okay. Um, and so my idea was the propane bottles would have a rack and you'd be able to put two propane bottles up in here for the stove. So you don't have to keep them in the car. Excellent. And then what you'd have is you'd have one long bolt custom aluminum bolt that goes through here, goes through the middle of the water can and actually attaches itself into the this compartment right here. Okay. That keeps this whole thing sucked shut tight and it's got a nice big wheel on it okay. with a lock. So you unlock that, take it out, pull it out, and then you can pull the water bottle out without getting to the kitchen if you wanted to. Got it. And you can pull the water bottle out the back or the front. And okay. since this 
is on the outside of the vehicle, that's always accessible. So easy to get the water bottle in and out without ever touching the kitchen. You just have to lock the kitchen before you start to dry. Because right. that would probably be bad. bad. Um, and so this, how do you put a, how do you, just curious, how do you put a, um, a bolt through a water can? Because your water bottle, your water can has a hole in the middle of it. Oh, does it? Same hole they have in the thing. It's got a hole in the middle. Yeah. Awesome. So that hole is a nice tight fit. So I'll make a custom aluminum bolt that yep. perfectly fits through that hole so the water can won't rattle in there. Uh, this will be a small drawer on the bottom that will contain all your cooking utensils and everything else and sort of like a yacht style where everything fits in a compartment. Uh, then this would roll out. You take your propane bottle out. You'll thread your propane bottle into the bottom of this compartment, which is when the, it's there in that position. And that folds down. This is the cooktop. Here's the sink. This is a pantry to store food or items in. A little, little door that opens up. Sink, yep. Dometic sink. Yep. This is a just little work area, work area, and this is your cooktop. Yep. Holy. These co and so I'm I'm hoping that I'm correct, and that once this is made out of aluminum, this is rigid enough here, with these yeah. being integral into the panels that hold this together, that we don't need a leg. And in, in cool. that case, what we'll have is we'll have a little hook right here that just literally by itself now drops out and you hook the, take the bag out, you put the bag on yep. and then there's just a little hose that drops right out of the bottom into the bag. Perfect. And I, I think it'll self-support, uh, you know, the that is totally to killer. This is, up, but, this uh, is totally, this is totally awesome. Corey, this is for you. This is, this is her jam. <laughs> like she, like me, I'm like, Cold tortilla and a hot dog, <laughs> right? But she loves to prepare meals and this yeah. just makes it so much easier. Yeah. Like this is gonna be super convenient. Now Land Bound members become friends and support each other. And our good friend Ofer stopped by the shop. He's an engineer in his own right. And we continue to discuss kitchen ideas. Now you can see Ofer's awesome diesel FZJ80 build. We did a walk around a while back on the channel. That's linked up here. You know, so we got four inches on the top. Now that, now that I've got proper hinges on, I don't have to worry about breaking. And so th it would be basically, I was, so the original design, it would be actually be six inches taller than this. Uh -huh. I thought when Corey's cooking, she's not gonna want it up here. Right, right, right. So it's, it's gonna be a little bit taller than this. It's gonna sit right like that. After going through the designs and spending quite a bit of time discussing options, it's time to show it to the boss. Ship it. Not too far away. <laughs> There it is. Oh. So Corey and I have been building the 80 since about 2010. And we do it slowly but surely. And of course, the goal is to make it more functional and easier to use, not the opposite. It's gonna be heavy. Yes. That's gonna be a heavy, but, yes. but not complaining. It'll be like a yacht. Okay, okay, great. Yeah. Like, I just know how we roll sometimes. Drawer, we're gonna like, what's going in the drawer because we're not going to have anything loose exactly right so that's a whole other project we'll have to take on one of the things that we have to consider is that corey has rheumatoid arthritis and anything we add to the rig has to be easy for her to use as well yeah. so doing a design yeah. run through like this with her is critical to coming up with a final design that's going to work whoa this is going to be a significant uh, upgrade and no backing it into a tree. Great. So we'll have it next week? Yeah.